which student accommodation slash student letting agent should you choose in your town? So, just to go over it then. If you're choosing um, accommodation, the things that you should look for are the, like, the added extras. So the gym, cinema, study room, grab and go breakfast, free bikes to use, the accommodation manager, the size of the rooms and the location of the studios or apartments. Um, what defines a good from a bad one are the size of the spaces and how they utilise the space. So for instance, um, you know, some people call it a cinema room, but there's just a, a TV on the wall with two seats around it. Um, they call it a gym, but it's got two bikes and two cross trainers in there. And they put a mirror on one wall. They have mirrors to make it look bigger. Um, you know, you need to look at these sort of areas and go, right, is it worth the amount I'm paying or will I be better off? Again, look at location. Location is a good one. You know, people will charge more to be more central. Uh, absolutely right. Uh, whereas if they're slightly further out, the price should be a little bit lower. You know, compare all these aspects. Also look at what previous students have said. Um, you know, I, I, I work off ratings a little bit, but obviously um, people only really leave a review if they're asked or they've had a bad experience. So just bear that in mind. And for, uh, to go on to the second part, if you're deciding which letting agent to choose in the city, uh, there are a few ways you can tell which one's a good letting agent and which one's a bad letting agent. Um, firstly, I, was, I would always go and visit them where possible. I know it's, um, I'm filming this during the pandemic, so it might not make sense right now. However, if you go down to their shop, their store, whatever you want to call it, and uh, just go and see them and then organise some viewings through the website, you know, you can then go and see what the houses are like, whether the quality is good, and um, whether you get bills included, and um, whether they have big rooms, you know, whether all the safety features are there, the location is like, you know, it's come with garden, parking, bits like that. The main one is quality here, and you're looking for good quality. If it's not good quality, I would definitely skip because you want something that is good quality. And then you can look at all these aspects. So um, which agent has better processes? So gets you through the door quicker, for instance, you know, gets your deposit sorted, tenancy signed, uh, quick to respond to you. And it's likely through all your repairs compared to someone who takes a few days to respond to you and um, doesn't acknowledge uh, your receipt of communication, you know, uh, clunky deposit processes and just generally missing a few bits. They can be busy and these, this can happen, however, it's good if an agent has all their processes down because you know it's going to be a good and smooth journey. Again, I say it, look at the sort of previous reviews. I know not everyone goes off reviews, um, but have a look. And if it is all bad online, just stay away. Um, however, again, people only do tend to leave reviews if they've been asked or they've had a, an experience they want to share. I hope this has been useful. If you want any further clarification on um, you know, which accommodation might be right for you, which letting agent, or how you can further judge a letting agent or accommodation against each other, just go to the website student-it.com and contact me through there and I'll happily answer your questions. I hope this has been useful and I'll see you soon.